Today I'm going to show you how to retopologize your 3D sculpt. This isn't the model I made in the last video, I sculpted this model in Blender. But Maya isn't a sculpting industry standard, ZBrushes, and I use Blender because I am more comfortable using it. But all the tools demonstrated in my last video are all you need to be able to create a model of this quality. So I sculpted this in Blender and I was able to decimate it with uh, a value of like 0 0.05 so it's got about 260,000 vertices but before it had about 5 million so we need to make this model a live model and we do need to select the model first and we're going to use the quad draw tool over here and we can start selecting like start placing uh, points on the on the model and it will wrap around the model so that's how we can like begin starting up like retopology so we can press a quad like four sides for a quad and then in the middle we can press uh, shift and we can click and that will create us our first quad and we can move this around with the left mouse button off of that we can press uh, tab and left mouse button to drag out a uh, another quad like extruding it out and we can move that in place and we can extrude out another face using these tools and we can just move it in the spot we want to start big with these because if we start too small then we'll have to cover the entire model with smaller parts so we can always add more later but if we want to extrude an entire loop then we can press tab and the middle mouse button now give us an entire uh loop like the loop of faces so it gives us three faces and we can also uh get rid of a face with Control shift um click and we can just move these in spot and this will also snap when we extrude it out to the other uh, vertice They're very useful tools for this process for this entire process and we can also uh, click uh, control and left mouse button and that will give us a loop this will help uh, make it I mean we don't we could also Add a division but this is gives us more control where we want to place like a single edge loop and if we come out of here and we can click soften edge and this will shade our model so and then it's got a like a smooth shade smooth shader so uh, it won't look low poly and we can add another edge loop here to create more definition and create the, the form and shape of a high poly to a low poly form. So with auto wheel done, we can snap to a vertice, but with it off, we can keep the uh, the quads we have here. Just wanna keep that in mind, depending on what you want. Uh, I'm gonna keep auto wheel done. So we can just, uh, if we keep adding edge loops here, we can create more definition. But you see, instead of moving every vertice, we can press shift and that will uh, allow us to make these, uh, it'll just make it all smoother. It will place everything around and give it better form. It's good for the flow of the quads and keeping that form. I don't overuse it too much though, I just add a little bit. In places so if we select uh, object X or world X we can get symmetry on our model and this is good for not having to do the other side completely all over again the exact same now I'm gonna do a time-lapse where I retopologize this entire model as you see on this chart you can see how you can retopologize your model to lower your poly count to perform smoother in a real-time situation, such as a game for example.
and this is the final product. 